サイト。What up, what up, everybody? It's Genghis Kron, and welcome to yet another indie game along with Genghis Kron. It's still in our 13 days leading up to Halloween. Uh, that was, uh, I don't know what I have in the background right now on this. Maybe it's Young uh, Gutted? I'm not, I haven't decided yet. It's probably some weird hip-hop shit. Uh, and we are jumping into... So, I got super mad and rage quit the fuck out of that last game. Uh, Blackheart, I think it was. Holy shit. I rage quit that shit hard. Uh, I don't even know if I rage quit anything that hard on this game. I didn't even smoke an outro ball. That's how angry I got at that game. So, I figured we would play something pretty much the exact opposite of that. This is a game called Eruzal. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Aerosol? E-R-U-S-A-L. How about that? It is a game by Jack Pritz on Game Jolt. It came out on uh, August 22nd of this year. And a, they say it's best experience alone in a dark room with headphones. So that is exactly what I have as the setup. I even killed the light and everything. And yeah, this is going to be interesting. I'm kind of excited about it. It definitely looks like it is um, Dear Esther inspired or something along those lines. But I'm hoping because it definitely says, um, let's see, it's basically about a village that and we're supposed to escape it. I don't really know. Uh, but we do get to jump, so it's better than Dear Esther. So. <laughs> <coughs> Shots fired. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna kill this browser and start this game and we are gonna kick into it. 1080 and the highest graphics, so it looks like it can run it. Boom, powered by Unity. I'm kind of a big fan of Unity games lately. Alright, so here we are. Welcome to Erusal or Erusol, or however you pronounce that. An experience by jackpritz.com. So it's Wazda, space to jump. Oh, let's just, woo, all right. So that looks like where we're supposed to be going. This looks like what we should take a look at. Wow, that sky is pretty great, actually. I'm kind of impressed by that. Looks pretty great. Whoa, listen to the sound. Weird. All right, I'm just kind of messing with the Unity engine at this point. All right, let's wander around. Press F to activate the flashlight. All right, cool. Whoa. I, I like this uh, tutorial system. Press E to pick up a note. Escape opens the menu. Read notes there. E, escape, journal. Oh, I don't not like that. All right, where am I? First note, oh God, hold on. Since it does it like that, I have to change it to a texture that we can actually read it on. So, where am I? <laughs> what should the voice be on this? What's going on? The last thing I remember is tearing up a sweet valley. I'm like, okay, never mind. We're reading it as uh, Jason Brody from Far Cry 3. What's going on? The last thing I remember is tearing up a sweet valley on my quad. And now I find myself waking up on the top of a mountain. My chest hurts. Maybe that has something to do with all of this. Across the valley, I can see someone. Are they digging? Is that a grave? Oh, fuck. That's not for me, is it? I have to get out of here. Okay, first off, we definitely have to go look at that valley. So hold the fuck on. Um... What the fuck was he just talking about? Is that over there? Someone's digging a grave over there? Oh god, somebody is digging a grave. Look. Oh, shit. That's not good. I cannot jump high enough to get to that. That's weird. I don't like the way he did that level on that. It makes it kind of hard to see that. Okay. Okay, let's check the next journal. 
David, 1966-914. Well, I better grow up. Oh, wait, he's from the 60s. Well, I better grow up quick. Today I found Kathy pregnant. Wait. Today I found out that I got Kathy pregnant when we fucked a few months ago. God damn it. I guess I better get myself together. I'm going to be a father now, so I need a job. Babies need clothes and food and shit. I'm going to have to support Catherine. And we'll have to move in together and get married. And there is so much to do. <laughs> Fuck. Isn't fucking what got him into that? I'm going to have to find a job. I don't want to work in a mine. The more I'm reading this, the accent's slowly fading into clearly what it's supposed to sound like. <laughs> I don't want to work in a mine. Because clearly those guys have a bad cough. That can't be healthy. So maybe I could work with my pop, say, as mechanic. I'm gonna have to spend more time there watching the things he does. Fuck. I'm late. I better rest up for tomorrow. The rest of my life is starting, after all. So clearly, this dude is super heck. Alright, so, whoa. Looks like something weird happened over in that area. So once we saw, this is where we got the second note. So clearly we're supposed to go through the trees over here. That's clearly what I found. Let's walk around in here and just make sure I didn't miss anything. Whoa, shit. Okay. Oh, sh that's exactly why I walked back in here. I would have totally missed whatever happens up here. That note. All right, that would have been super bad. All right. 19. 86, January 3rd. Wait, okay, here we go. I noticed today how Bernat is. I may have to start sitting on my porch and cleaning my gun so all them boys in town know to keep my damn hand out of my daughter. But me and my dad got married did and playing, baby. I don't want that happening to my dog. Kathy been good to me. She made my favorite dinner. She been smiling. I'm f glad she finally the funk out her parents left her in. It been four years since they passed away. That seemed like a long time to me. But then again, both my parents still walking. Dad still not give me the business. But I make these my money don't turn really bad. <laughs> Yo, you clearly, you should have given your dad the business for not giving you the business. hey <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh, I clearly was supposed to read this one first. Yep. Okay, here was the one before that. Finally, after three weeks of pastoring in, my dad gave me a job. Sheesh, that took a while. I'm his own flesh and blood. We worry me like that, whatever. It all lined up now. I'll be a mechanic for a while until they advertise. And then I own my own business. Be smooth sailing. Stuart mechanic become David Awesome Auto. That's a much better name. I can hire someone else to be a mechanic and ride out in my life. <laughs> so dumb. In the meantime, Dad's taking me hunting. Hunting trip's pretty fun, but he's probably going to be giving me live lessons of wool stores the whole time. Boy, did those get old fast. He's cozy and safe in his tank, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's <laughs> cozy and safe in a tank? I don't know if that's how that works. The whole time, his story sound had like a history lecture from school. I guess I pretty good my dad happy by listening to his stories so, though wow i read that wrong he just did, wait fuck he just i need to take a drink clearly by the way I'm still sipping on that crow and crown that's my drink right now it's fucking fantastic crown uh as in rc cola not crown as in crow whiskey and crown royal that would be awful I guess good me my happy bad bad by listening to the story so he did just give me a jab sling blade get her done. It is for sure turning into sling blade though, right? This accent. 
I did notice that towards the end of that. I was like, I saw like fucking sling blade. French fried teeters. I feel like I'm for sure going to miss uh, letters in this game. Like a lot of them. Why is that getting so quiet? It's freaking me out a little bit. I was just trying to listen and it doesn't sound I'm glad to see that the uh, the bird sounds aren't just like a really short loop because sometimes I worry about that with these indie games that the bird sounds are just going to be a loop of like fucking four seconds or whatever but it doesn't sound like that's the case alright here we go Magnus Judy pregnant my hand terrible Ter Damn. Let's try that again. Judy's pregnant. My hands tremble as I write these words. Both out of fear and out of excitement. I was out of the mind that my little girl was just that. But today she came to me and revealed she has become a woman. 17 years old. Oh, Jesus. This is what's face his dad, right? 17 years old. Uh, wait. 17 is old enough to have a child, I suppose. Uh, all right, I'll have to change the accent again. Lordos, miners. <laughs> what am I doing with these accents? Lord knows the miner. Whoa, 1945. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Uh, okay, so I don't remember people's names. What was the chick's name? Kathy and David. This is Magnus and Judy. His name is Stuart. All right. Well, anyway. 17's <clears throat> old enough to f pump out kids. Lord knows the miners I employ don't want wait that long. Oh, Jesus. So I can be grateful she kept herself away from them. Jesus Christ. My reputation may take a bit of a beating, but the fallout is manageable. The boy himself has gusto. Name Stewart. He's returned a veteran of Second Great War. From stories I heard, he seems ambitious. Perhaps I can turn that ambition to my advantage. He was a mechanic of a tank unit. Uh, okay. Time out. Who was a tank? Tank, 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 tank. Dad. Oh, that dude's dad. Okay. So that dude's... So that's this is David's great-grandpa. Nope. David's grandpa. <clears throat> right? Yeah. Okay, so it's David's grandpa. And he's talking about... His nope. This is David's great grandpa talking about his grandma getting prego by his grandpa when she was sixteen, seventeen. Okay, we got it. So David's in-laws are all a banging. All right, nineteen sixty-nine. Confound it, stir. After many years, my mechanic franchise venture has gone nowhere. Stuart David's dad? David's grandpa. David's dad? Dad is Stuart. Right, because David's grandpa is Magnus. Okay, I think we got this. Stuart, self -self <laughs> Stuart is a self obsessed buffoon with no drive for greatness. His one shop is barely profitable, and most of the business comes from servicing the trucks that haul coal from mine to the train yard. His focus on the past has retarded goddamn Momo my ambitions for long enough. I feel like there's a pun somewhere in this area. Not a pun. Well, you know what I mean. Um, business is good enough for Stuart, Judy, and David to live on. But Stuart does not have ambition. I thought he had. He st still talks about the war. Yep. Okay, David. Their son, David. Yeah, yeah. So this is David's dad, who's all lazy and keeps talking about the war. Perhaps time to rack up the venture as lost. Coal mine's profitable. Working in the mine is perfectly safe. And it 
keeps them away from the hot sun, after all. They should be grateful I enable the cash flow. Without my mind, they have to move away from their homes to find jobs elsewhere. This is getting to be just like... The world's worst Minecraft, uh... Wow, these, all these houses are identical, which is not kind of that great either. It's starting to get kind of weird. I am gonna might start picking up pace on this. It seems that Judy has finally figured out that her husband is less than desirable. Perhaps I'll introduce her to my prestige. Brad. Brad truly has the ambition I once thought to her possessed. Linking our families in this way will deepen his loyalty to me, and I want you to be happy. I have to leave my fortune to my daughter. I prefer it with a man who can handle it properly. They're nearly the same age, too. Very convenient. What the fuck are these hips to hicks talking about? Alright. That's what we got in this place. Okay, so what... Okay, so David killed Brad? Is that what we're finding out? It's not, it, it feels like that, right? It feels like we're gonna find out David murdered Brad. I feel like we should smoke a bowl. In this majesty. Let's just look out at the view, maybe. Let's go check out the corner of this and see if I can fall off the world or something weird. Wow, that is interesting, the way they did those graphics. Don't know how I feel about that. It's weird, right? Like, parts of it look kind of realistic. They look like when you take the train up to Oregon. Um, but parts of it look... Kind of weird. And the color is really weird. I know it's supposed to simulate haze, but it just looks super washed out. It's kind of a weird move. Cheers on the ball. Clearly we should be drinking more along this. So... Here, cheers on that as well. I have a Young Thug song stuck in my head so bad. <laughs> Just the one line, basically, is the... She said, baby, I'm anemic. I said, I'm anemic too. Anemic Marcus Shopper. <laughs> we fly helicopter. So funny to me every time. I'm a Neme Marcus shopper. So dumb. The labels keep calling me back and far. So this is, these are feel like unnecessarily long distances with kind of nothing in between them. Hence the Young Thug song. I like that this house at least looks different. Nope, no it doesn't. I'm just kidding. It's identical to all the other ones. The, oh, what is going on over there? Can you die in this game? It's really <clears throat> scary for like half a second on that one, right? <laughs> that worked for like a quarter of a second. Then I was like, oh, this is boring. It's not, not at all terrifying. I think you're supposed to be brought out back out of the door when you see them. I think that's how that's supposed to work. Does she at least change position based on... Oh, wait. What the fuck? I didn't see that that person was clearly dead. <clears throat> Why did I think one was a girl and one was a guy? Is that implied or did I just do that weird math on my own? Huh. That's weird if I thought that was the case. Alright, so that house was just like a weird sound effect and a thing. Run! I wish I could pull my knife out so I could run faster. Counter-Strike jokes! <laughs> so dumb. Oh god, I wish I could smoke and walk at the same time in this game. That's the one problem with these games, the Press W simulators, as uh, TB likes to call them. Is you can't really do... It's not like good old Max Gentleman like we were playing. 
the one thing that's nice is this is the exact uh, opposite vibe of the of the fighting game. We're just playing. What's up? You guys are just holding hands, kicking it. All right, fine. We got some journaling. Forty-five from Judy. Tonight I became a woman, and with a war hero. Stuart came from wall. He had a look in his eye I could not resist. Oh, jeez, that bitch crazy. Mechanics sure do have a way with their hands. That's... God, I wish women didn't always seem dumb in video games. Surely he means to make me his wife now. I've read enough to know what sex leads to. But what if he doesn't? Perhaps my body was all he was after since he'd been away after so long. No, I must not think that way. The proper thing for me to do now is to wait for him to call. And when he does, I must fight my urge to press the matter of marriage. It'll be some time before I know if the pregnancy takes after all. I can't build up only to discover uh, I'm hysterical. Yes, I'll wait for my beloved Stu to make his move. Then we can begin our lives together. First off, why would you marry anybody named Stuart? That doesn't sound like a good plan. Oh, boom, boom, and not over there. All right. I, it's kind of a bummer that it's basically just the same building, and then it's just different areas that it's in. All right, 1984. We're fucking Marty McFlying this shit. Uh, Stuart's demeanor is weighing on me heavily. Nearly 40 years have passed in our marriage, but unlike the wine in my glass, it has not aged well. He still tells stories of bravado from time in his service, and with his age, it has become routine. Every time he uses the same exact, exact same words, I could recite them along with him, and I do sometimes interrupt his train of thought and to rile him up. Thank God for Father and the company of his friends. His, prestige, his protege, Brad, is a pleasure to talk to. I've seen the way it looks at me, too. What a naughty man. <laughs> I'll see him again tomorrow. There's nothing wrong with seeking out better company than the buffoon I'm married to. Oh, no. Well, this just got so... Wait, I already called this, like, an hour ago, right? All right, maybe, like, 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Oh, Stuart, you shank, you foolish man. You, how readily you shovel your, shovel your own demise into your belly. There is something oddly satisfying about it, the way Stuart's been wasting away over time. The secret ingredient I sometimes put in his meal sure does the job well. I can withhold it for a few weeks and gain him back his energy, or I can give him a higher dose and see him struggle out of bed the next day. I've had quite a bit of fun over the past few weeks, but it is finally time in the charade. Stuart will not live to see the sunrise tomorrow, as I can be with Braddon's I was meant to be. It's funny how life can make Twilight so beautiful. I have nothing but happiness ahead of me. No monotonous stories for me. Farewell, Stuart. Perhaps we'll meet again in the next world, but not until I can finally enjoy this one, cocksucker. The fucking stories, cocksucker. So, I wish this wasn't so generic. Like, what was it, the second or third letter that we called this? Like, when, whenever that dude Brad's name came up, I was like, well, that was easy. I feel like there might be a twist ending, though, but I feel like any twist you go with is still kind of generic. Oh, that's kind of a cool effect. How it gets way lighter the farther away it is. It's kind of cool. Fuck you. Look at how far you're going to make me walk. Really, bro? Jesus Christ. That was an unnecessary distance. I know you're trying to build fucking... A vibe or whatever, but holy shit. It's because there's nothing. It's just the same fucking forest everywhere. You could... you Well, to be fair, you could cut the length of this game by like a third. As long as you just essentially uh, cut the distance between the houses. Shit, if they were all in like a little neighborhood, you could kill this game in like five minutes. If I could read faster. My fucking dumbass. <laughs> Alright. So, which one do I go in first and not fuck this up?
You gotta go closer first, right? It's probably wrong. Aw, oh, shucks. It appears that night I had with Judy after getting home from the war means she's pregnant. Had I known this would happen, I'd have cooled my hots for her. I better make a respectable woman out of her, just like my tank pals. You say, if the lady, if the lady starts to grin, take care where you're swimming. Oh, God. Really? No respect for your own story. It's too bad they sent us home so quick. I miss taking care of my tank. What the fuck? I was the best damn mechanic in Uncle Sam's army. My tank, now that was a lady, I understood. After every skirmish, there was a bolt to tighten or a part to grease. Then Sherry would purr real pretty. Women don't sound the same as the M4A1 Sherman tank. They smell different too. Not bad, but different. I'm going to have to come up with a job and quit. If only there was a mechanic shop around here, I know I would be a shoe in for the job. No such luck. Maybe I can work out some sort of machinery in the coal mine. Judy's father, Magnus, owns operations, so he doesn't want to split me open like a nut for touching his child. Then old Magnus can use man my tears. I'm trying to take your time. This looks like an important room. Judy sure has been acting odd lately. I can't understand her emotions like I understand the gears of my old Sherman. Fuck you with the tank. Now I'm starting to get it. This is ridiculous. Judy does cook better meals than the army did, though. Fucking really? She's been making more exotic meals recently with some sort of special ingredients. They do a job filling my belly, even if I always do feel sluggish afterward. She isn't so bad, I guess. On 40 years together, it could have been a lot worse. I only hope that David chose better. Our shop isn't the same since passed on. Maybe his home life will be happier than mine. I sure do hope so. I think he'll visit his grave again. What? Time out. I can only hope that David chose better. The shop isn't the same since he passed on. David... His kid? What the fuck? Where's the last time we heard from David? 86? Still hasn't given him the business. The shop isn't the same since... Maybe his home life was happier than mine. I sure do hope so. I'll go visit his grave again tomorrow. I was just there with something about how easy... Going the graveyard is settles uh, settles me. That's weird of you. I'm going to have to do some repairs on that bridge soon, though. It's pretty awful when people walk over it. Someday soon, it might fall. Yeah, well, there's clearly a giant gap in that bridge. I'm so confused, though. These are great cars, or should I say, the same colored truck with awesome rust effects. It's kind of almost a better look not to do the rest at all. And now we walk for a mile. Holy fuck. Oh my god, you're going to make me walk so far this time. Whoa, there's a fork in the road. Oh my god, call me Robert Frost, fuckers. I don't know where to go. That way, because there's a house. I took the one with the house next to it. How about that? That's how that went, right? Actually, I probably would have gone that way if I wanted to Robert Frost this. But, I'm trying to get all the goddamn story, unfortunately. It'd be a lot easier if I was just like, fuck this. Sorry, I just realized how far away from the... Oh, God, why do you... The problem with this is, like, there's not numbers on these. How the fuck do I know which one I'm supposed to read in which order? This one first? That seems wrong. Seems like one of these first. I'm gonna go with this one. Finally, all my work is paid off. At age 30, I became the foreman of the Magnus Mine. I was... Suppose Magnus sees the value of having a, a young guy on top. Who the fuck is Jasper? Some of the old miners are grumbling pretty loud about it. Who the fuck is Jasper? 
Bad news today at the mine. Power miners went deep into the tunnel. We had support beams, and they got hurt in a small collapse. Barnett was crushed by a large chunk of rock. And Dothy was injured, too. That's a fake-ass name. Two troublemakers have been doing all kinds of things together lately. With all the miners, with all the time miners I've put in, they must spend more time with each other than with their wives and children. I know Marge is going to be fawning over Dothy when he gets home, though. Bless her heart. Magnus was down at the mine soon after the collapse, and I already promised, um, I don't give a fuck. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, 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 this just came back around, alright. Magnus was down at the mine soon after the collapse, and I already promised Dathy, or whatever the fuck his name is, an allowance to make up for the wages. Uh, must be good to be related to the boss. Let's see, if Dathy's daughter, Kathy, is married to David, Judy's son... That makes Daffy Magnus his grandson's father-in-law. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to make a goddamn family tree to understand this fucking convoluted-ass multiple-people-banging plot. This is ridiculous. I don't know if there's a better way to say that. They're related. Magnus is completely heartless. He doesn't want the miners to unionize. I don't give a fuck. All right. Journal 82. I can't believe it's all over. It's been on the job for 32 years, and now I'm forced into replacement from the mine closing. Fuck, I need to drink, clearly. I guess Magnus is getting... I guess Magnus is getting tired from all the work over the years he had to do to keep it open. First, there was a death. Then there was a state work environment investigator people, and now the mine is closed. It's admirable that he was able to keep it open as long as he did, but I guess it's all kaput now. Fucking kaput, really? I don't know what the miners will do. Move away, maybe? Uh, they would be all alone, but there is, isn't is any work other than the mine in aerosol, so maybe that's what's going to be. I'm moving out for sure. Nothing left for anyone. Okay, let's go... Check out the end of this, because there cannot be two more houses, can there? There's probably a fucking billion. Jesus, this looks steep. What the fuck? Don't start me at the beginning, cocksucker. Okay, good. Motherfucker. What is that bullshit? So we just got decked off a mountain and now we have to respawn? Seems weird. Clearly it's directing us down toward that path that we originally looked at. That was weird as hell though, right? I'm not really, they didn't really clarify any of that at all. Alright, let's get back on the path. That way we're not missing anything. That's kind of fucking weird and jolting, though. And not in, like, a scary way, just in, like, a what the fuck? I don't really know, this game, there's a lot of fucking forest travel in this game. Like, it is slowly starting to remind me more and more of Deer, Deer Esther in all of the ways that Deer Esther was fucking, and it's not nearly as pretty. Deer Esther was fucking really pretty. That was the best thing it had going for it. I'm just not really a fan of that. It's just kind of generic, as far as I could tell. Or at least that's how it felt. All right, let's hurry up and read these fucking notes. I'm hoping some cool plot twist happens here soon, because if it's all this just to be the super generic. It's been 18 years now since Barney died and Dathy got injured, but Dathy's real upset this time of year. Still misses Barney. You don't spend most of the day with a friend and then get over him just like that. I hope the Lord can do it, work his love into Daisy's heart sooner or later this year. 
hey, see him like this. He seems all right living off of Magnus's allowance the rest of the year. But he always, but he, but we always have trouble on February third. I know he will clear up in time for Valentine's Day, though. He always has the sweetest surprise. Let me guess. The fuck? Truly am the luckiest woman on earth. I'm so blessed to have my husband, Davey, looking after me and our beautiful daughter, Catherine. Davey works so hard. I swear he spends time with the other mother so he can give Catherine and I all the things we need in life roof over our heads. What more could a woman want? I hope, Gath <laughs> I hope Catherine will grow to understand how hard her father works for her. She is getting to that age where the devil can take hold, so I hope we are raising her right to appreciate the beautiful life that we have. Fucking, if I have to walk all the way down this goddamn terrible news day, the mine's closing definitely. What will we all do? The miners and jobs. Arusio, maybe Daisy, don't know what to do, had not come home yet today, which is odd. Maybe he's planning a future Arusio and miners, God bless him. Oh my god, still it isn't like him to be at home for so late. Maybe what looks like a tragedy is actually a blessing from the good lord. If we focus our if we are focused to move from a new town, then we can see a bit of the rest of the world along the way. I can't remember the last time I was out of Russo. I'm certainly not getting any younger. Maybe it's just the right time to start a new chapter in our lives. Where the fuck is Wasta? Okay. Holy fuck. All of the walking, man. It should be called Forest Simulator 2014. Halloween edition. Except it's not even Halloweeny. It's just a Halloweeny. A Halloweeny, I should say. Hey, yo. I don't know what that means. Oh, God. We should be smoking a bowl right now. But I just don't want to make this take longer. I'm going to hurry up and get through this bullshit. Because I'm curious how the story progresses, but this part is super not fun. Part where I just have to walk long distances in this super generic. Let's just look over here and see if we can see how far this is going to go. God damn it. I hope this isn't like all the way down this whole fucking mountain. This better be quick. Oh, I see you. I'm just Oh, Jesus. Didn't see the fucking nooses though. Okay. That looks like a thing. I work hard. I hope my little Kathy will benefit from it. She's the light of my world and I'll do anything for her to have a better life than I did. My papa spent all his wages on moonshine. Ha <laughs> ha! My brother and I suffered off with for her, but Kathy will live better. She deserves what I never had. The smile on her face when I get home from the mine keeps me going through. Marge's cooking does a share too. Whatever feelings my Barney may be, I will work hard with family. It's a dark mind, but I'll grow the ground in a light. Brighty, brighty. Really, you guys don't... <clears throat> That's the ones I was looking for. Okay. Journal. I can't take it no more, Barney. Ever since the day we snuck into the mine together and you got killed, I missed you something off. My woman cares for me, but you love me only as another man could. In fact, what? You love me is only... Alright, let me change the voice on this one. I can't take it no more, Barney. Ever since that day when we snuck off into the mine together and you got killed, I must... I must... I miss you something awful. My woman cares for me, but you loved me as only another man could, baby. If I can't make peace spelled hella incorrectly with myself after all these years, then I never will, baby. I can't take it no more. I'll hang myself here in your home, little lady, so we can be together even sooner. Nothing can take away the pain. <laughs> Barely on the ass joke I was going to go with. Now that the mine is closed for good. Every time I hear my granddaughter's name, the stake of my heart is twisted a little more beautiful. We thought naming her after you would be a fitting tribute to your life. But for me, it's only a, remi a painful reminder of your death, baby. 
I can feel my memory of you fading away, and I can't take it no more. I got a lingering. Our sins brought me way too much pain to bear no longer. I hope I can see you soon, and that sweet, sweet dick, and God will forgive us. Okay, so clearly, oh wait, okay guys, oops, Daisy was the girl, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> that's hilarious, okay, I for sure, for sure thought that that was supposed to be the dude, I was like, I'm into this game, wait, Daisy is the guy, my woman cares for me. But you love me as only another man could. That's right, so it is the dude. He just has the girliest name ever. I can't wait. That was close. To find Daisy swinging here and his thoughts on this page. I can't take it anymore either. We loved each other. The mind clothes must have jumbled him up good. I'll be there soon too, Daisy. Don't go too far down that dark tunnel just yet. I'm coming to catch your hand. Dark. Like the alleyway where that one dude blew the other one. Hey, yo! It's weird. I don't. It feels weird, though. I don't know why they included the. Why did they bang? I think this dude definitely played uh, Last of Us and is just like, well, I mean, they should bang, right? Plot! Except they were talking about a different kind of hole, baby. Not a plot hole. That's what Daisy called that one dude's ass. A plot hole. This is awful, guys. I'm reduced to making uh, butthole jokes. It's gone downhill. Again, apologize for that one. <laughs> Did you get the pun on that? Oh, God. A lot of forest, so I'm hoping we're getting somewhere significant. Because we're running out of fucking characters here soon. And this is a really long walk. For not a lot of payoff right now. Like, there's nothing to see right now. The, really, the sky is the best part about this game. I don't know, maybe the plot will get amazing right now. Maybe they'll, like, inception me as fuck. Be convinced that, like, literally, this is like maybe this is just secretly the prequel to uh, Cabin in the Woods. I don't know. Maybe we'll walk into the Evil Dead cabin in perfect re re uh, replica, and it'll be like the greatest moment in all of gaming. For sure, don't. It's not gonna happen. But you know. Oh, hey, look, we're finally at the mine. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Oh, fuck me. This game is taking way too long. <laughs> oh, God. Catherine, 66. I'm ready to settle down with my husband, but none of the miners are the right age for me. They're all too old, and they got bad coughing fits, too. Maybe marrying a miner's not what I should do. I guess I don't have to follow my parents exactly, but I'd still be happy like them. I found one of David, the mechanic's son. They do good hands-on work, just like the miners. That's I don't like how they keep making that joke. It's weird. I bet a life with Dave would be perfect. He would work hard and give me our children the things we want. You just got to like me enough to marry him. All right. Jesus. Every time I see a house, I just see the path leading away from it, and I'm like, oh, god damn it, really? <laughs> Even Dear Esther had more plot in between these, and it was voiceovered. Voiced over? Voiceovered? Mama, Papa, and me have sure to have a good life here in Arizona. So Mama and Papa will get a big family. I'll find a boy someday. Okay, we clearly read those in the wrong order. That's another problem with this, is I can't ever find the right order to play these in. I don't really dislike this game. I just... It feels like it's trying to drag itself out. Pretty strongly. 
Like, because I can tell we still have a, like, it just keeps fucking going. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, Jesus. And there's no sprint button either, which would really help me with this. I would fucking sprint this whole game right now. But the fact that you're, like, stuck in this moderate speed, there's, like, even if you take shortcuts, it's not even a shortcut, really. I don't know, man. We need to smoke a ball, though. Because I am getting exhausted by this game. This might end up being a two-parter. Jesus Christ. I should, probably should have split this like fucking 20 minutes ago. God damn it. I just figured it would be shorter than that. And I like doing these in one part. I don't like doing the uh, smaller videos. I like just getting them all in one consolidated thing. Even though... Fucking nobody likes watching it that way. <laughs> God damn it. All right. I, you know what? We're definitely not... Maybe I'll just cut out, like, the giant chunks in the middle where I'm walking and nothing is happening. You'll just fucking speed through those. Hello, I'm Burnett, and I got this diary for my birthday. So, hello, this is exciting. Hello, diary, I'm seven years old. Okay, shut the fuck up, Burnett. They keep introducing characters, and it's getting ridiculous. Hi, diary, do you want to know who's in my family? Okay, so this is their kid. My dad's name is David. His grandma is Jan I only have one great-grandparent, Magnus. All right. Yeah. Oh god, they're literally spelling out the plot right now for no reason. Because they're just pretty much calling you dumb. Did I learn where my name came from? It was Bernie, you died a long time before I was born. That means I'm named after a boy. I don't want a boy's name. Name me after him though. No one else was a as I was. Sick, right? Alright. This is literally just a giant segment of me walking through a forest, basically, is what this video has turned into. I'm... I don't know how I feel about this game. Every house is literally identical. Or, it's not, but it's fucking close. And... 90% of them go nowhere. Oh, Jesus. With the fucking paper placement. Like, it's something different. Today was Grandma Marge's and Grandpa Dathy's wake. Super sad. Um, they didn't have coppins open to see them. I thought that's how funerals were. Yeah, because they killed themselves. We get it. <laughs> Sorry to sound super callous because of this. Uh, is it me or is Grandpa Judy acting really weird? She's never home when I stop by to say hello. How rude. She used to be there all the time talking to me about stuff, and now she's always out somewhere. Apparently, she's getting super into Great Grandpa Magnus's business. She's spending a lot of time with him and Brad. I thought Gigi Magnus was going to Great Grandpa Magnus was going to give his business to Brad to handle. Maybe he's going to save my Grandpa Judy. I don't care. Let's progress this plot. What? Something really weird going on. We just got from back from Daddy's funeral. Mom isn't even crying. So she doesn't even realize Dad is dead. Where are we going to do? I'm almost 19 years old. I don't even see my dad again. So this bitch doesn't even care. Dad, miss you so much. Gotta take care of you now. At least I saw some of that. Grandpa Stutt spent a lot of time as mechanic shot. And Grandma Judy hangs out with Gigi Magnus and Brad. So I don't know what to do. My family's always busy, busy, busy. I just hang out read, I guess. Get it? Because that's what we're doing, we're reading. And back to the long walks. Alright, we're back after speeding up that clip, because fucking why watch me walk down a fucking hill at a slow speed? That seems like a giant waste of time. So really, this game would prefer, or would be a lot better with voiceover. Grandpa Stewart was buried today. I should have spent more time with him in his mechanic shop. Now the shop will close. Oh, wait. Grandma Star is buried today. 
Should have spent more time with him at his mechanic shop, but now the shop will cause him to be a junkyard. It's the usual for a young girl to lose everyone in her life the way I lost everyone in mine. What's God's plan for my family? I noticed Grandma Jerry and even crying just as Mom was on crying when Dad died. I'm sure there's a normal response. My books tell me that death is a sorrowful thing. Your books tell you? Hey, wait. Why is there a fucking lady right there in that window? You guys see that lady in the window? What in the fuck? What the fuck? How did I not notice that yet? Oh, God. To weep is lost on a grave, Shakespeare said. Why is Mama Grandma the family grave? I spy on a mission of fears. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is this? Look at me, at me all. That is weird and disconcerting. I was literally reading that page and I was like halfway through. I was like, who the fuck is that in the background? So can't believe the constant to all the diaries I found blatantly laying around. It started going with seeing my grandma Judy on the top of the table. At least she grandma was so sickening. I found my own mother's diary and my all my studies. Never found a pair of books so full of sin. Family dinner tonight. It all ends for them. And Gigi Madison and Brad as well. They're all guilty of heinous crimes, as Martin Luther King Jr. said. What in the fuck? The hottest place in hell is reserved for those who will remain neutral in times of great moral conflict. You like my MLK voice? I don't, I don't know why I made him so southern. Though, like, God's plan for my father is all too clear now. The world's too good for them, and I will correct this moral conflict myself. I have found herbs in the valley that Grandma and Mom talked about in their diaries, and I will quite the I will be quite the dramatic irony. You, the Shakespeare reference from earlier yet that will be killing themselves the way they made him kill their husband themselves with all this is over in the cosmos we'll return to the proper order state this bitch crazy oh that bitch gone that bitch gone oh shit That's kind of terrifying. All right. I wonder how much of that stuff's been happening. I just didn't notice it. What a day of work I've had. Four more lumps of earth in the church graveyard. And now I have run of the town. Everyone else left when the mines closed all those years ago. So I am used to the isolation. It's nice to have an entire town at my disposal. Even if it is empty. No one as much as visits anymore. So I will have the entire kingdom to myself. With the world once again balanced, I can live out my days in peace as a hermit, keeping watch over my purged valley. When I close this, am I going to get hit in the back of the head and die? Okay, so this just got kind of interesting. I'm back in, you guys. Emotionally, I'm back in this. I was, I was out for most of this video, but I'm back in it. I'm interested again. Which should say something about gameplay, right? I feel like if this progressed way quicker, it would, uh, like, you could easily cut out two of those houses. God damn it, lady. What do you want from me? You hollow-eyed bitch? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Wait. Question, question, question. 35. Bridge collapsed today, diary. Perhaps I can find myself another route to the church. I'd still like to spend some time there, occasionally. In death, my family is closer to me than ever before. Their sins will not be forgotten, however. I found all their diaries. They are hidden away in the secret nooks and alcoves no longer. I'll spread their pages around the homes they used to inhabit, and in doing so, remind the haunting spirits of their misdeeds that they sealed their fate. Surely everyone has come sin that could inspire a similar fate. Mine is the murder of my own family. If I can be corrupted like that, surely everyone has a fe fearful potential. This game's kind of getting fucking creepy. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of starting to work. I'm 
I'm curious when she went away the last time. God damn it, I read them in the wrong order again. Well, diary, it certain has been a long time since I've leafed through your pages. I'm afraid that without a need for it, I have lost track of the date. Instead of dating my entries, I will number them from now on. Fuck me. I got number one and number 35? Are there really 30? This is number two. I'm going to fucking kill myself. 88. Okay, good. Uh-oh. This is the one. I think this could be the end of this game right now. Hold on I close this. Diary. We have an intruder today. wonder what sins weigh down their soul. At the very least, they have torn up this sacred value with their vehicle. I alone, being the purger of sin, have come to right... Have fuck. I alone, being the purger of sin, have the right to tread here. I will not allow this person to leave. March 15th, 1992 was the last time someone left this valley. I'll bring them to the church and lay them down with the other sinners. Brad must be feeling quite alone after all this time. He did not deserve a grave next to my family. He can have the company of this stranger. I feel like for sure we're going to get married. Married? Oh, God. Murdered right when I close this. And she's gone. Okay, so definitely how this works is the pages are positioned in areas where you can't see them leave, which is fucking cool. I wish this would have started like this from the beginning. I guess we're going to have to chop these into two chunks because this is getting crazy long. Also, I shouldn't be talking during this segment because I'm just going to speed it up. So here, we're going to speed up the walking. All right, we're still fucking walking, evidently. God damn, this is the one part that really bums it. Because it breaks the entire pace of this game. It doesn't create tension, it just entirely breaks the pace. So, like, by the time I get to the next fucking place, I just want to read it and get the fuck on with this game. Because this is adding nothing. There's nothing to look at. There's no anything that I can find, that I've seen. Thought I saw somebody over there, actually. Which is kind of weird, but... I don't see shit now, so I guess we're walking still. We have to be coming up on something soon. That's, like, towards the end of this. Because this is the longest distance we've gone so far. And they have to be trying to build up tension. So, we will, uh... I'll play it out from here. But, man, this is... For real, taking fucking... So, I mean, Jesus Christ. This is a lot of time between plots. This looks like a thing, though. Who you saw who said they liked riding the ATV all over the valley? Oh, I'm not controlling this anymore. Oh, I'm stuck on the fucking quad! Oh god, lady. Oh, I got the chills for a second. That was really weird. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, I know what to do. 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 Oh, fuck! I got stuck on the goddamn... Here, hold on. So here's what we do. Is we go around this fucking thing and we get her stuck on this rope. You ready? Oh god. Oh, she still got us through the rope?! God damn it. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, God. Let's just run, then. God, that did give me, like, weird chills and freak me out, though. I mean, she is still right there, but she's not really scary. As long as I just keep moving, we're good. That's one fundamental problem with this. Is, like, you can't really tell she's behind. Even though she's, like, right there and super terrifying. You can't really tell that. Because you have to be facing away from her. So it, like, kind of breaks the uh, scary factor on this. Plus, I mean, she doesn't look real terrifying either, to be honest. She looks like she's the world's worst Sims character on the creative person page. We did it! 
But did we find all the notes? There are 36. How many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Two, three is twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-five, thirty-four. Wait, no, wait, 35. Wait. Oh, god damn it, I fucked up the counting right at the end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. I'm missing one fucking note. I'm missing one note. I'm missing one motherfucking note. God damn it. I can't believe I missed one. I wonder where it was. It says this way to the credits. But I don't really believe it. I believe the last note's gonna be over here. Oh god. It is the credits. Special thanks to my comrades. I can't believe I fucking missed one! That's all the sounds. Thank you for playing. Sincerely, Jack Pritz. What? Wow, I really thought I was gonna like end it, but it just kind of. All right, man. Well, that bums me out because we literally missed one journal entry, <laughs> but I'm never gonna play that game again. I like the idea of it. I don't like these games in general. Um. I should have prefaced this whole video with that. I'm not a giant fan of the whole uh, Dear Esther kind of genre of games. I did like Gone Home quite a bit, but that's because I fucking love the uh, genre and art style and all that shit. Not genre, but uh, I mean like theme, like time period, I should say. Um, this one, I wish a couple things. I wish that all of the spaces between the houses were cut at least in half, if not by two thirds. I mean, it's just way too fucking far down that hill. Um, I wish that the house designs were just different, even if it was just different chair placement or whatever. I don't know how much of a pain that is to program, but would have been fucking nice. Um, other things. Uh, the story dragged a little bit. I'm not. I think a lot of that is because you end up having to walk so long in between houses. It's kind of a fucking. Oh man, I don't know. It's kind of rough. Um, but overall, I kind of like it. I like the idea of it. I like the creepy chick chasing you at the end, who's like the kid of all of them, like trying to fucking, trying to. Uh, oh, I wish I frailty your ass out of the valley, for lack of a better verb, and. Um, I don't know, kind of interesting, kind of into it. I would definitely check out other stuff Jack Pritz did. Um, wish it was a little bit more consolidated. I feel like the middle third of that was kind of just a lot of fucking meandering. Like there was all characters in there that didn't matter at all for the plot. Um, but kind of cool. So this was another one of our indie games that we're doing for our 13 days of Halloween. And uh, yeah, coming up next, we have a bunch more. These, the ones that we're, I'm slowly getting into the ones that I think are gonna be cooler and cooler as we get towards uh, Halloween. So we're gonna be slowly start playing more and more ones that are getting, I, I think are gonna be more interesting uh, and have less like downtime like this one. But uh, I think there's gonna be some two-parters coming up and all kinds of cool stuff. So keep looking out for those. Uh, you probably won't see me do another video for black heart unless i get really desperate or get amazing at that game at some point because fucking that shit was aggravating but it was nice to do this as a change of pace i like the uh the opposite ends of the spectrum we had on those so this was 
Oh god, what was the name of this game? It was by Jack Pritz. The name of this game is Ursula. You, 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 it's in the title. You can, if you read it, you'll understand why I'm having trouble pronouncing it. And uh, yeah, until next time, motherfuckers, go do something decadent and hella spooky. And we have uh, all kinds of cool shit coming up. So, till then, we out. Bye. Million fly women in my dungeon. Bitch, there's a million fly women in my dungeon.